Mike, why did you make me dress like this? Well, Nathan, that right back there is the 2018 Mercedes-Benz E400 4Matic Cabriolet. And coming up next, we're going to give you the good, the bad, and the weird. And so that's why you made me dress like this. Yeah, you got to look nice. It's a Mercedes-Benz. It's a 329 horsepower bi-turbo V6. It's a 3 liter that puts out 354 pound-feet of torque. And it is sweet. Absolutely silk smooth. It's hooked up to another good thing, which is a nine speed automatic transmission, which is hooked up to another good thing, the Formatic all wheel drive system. The next on our positives is looks. The exterior of this car is exquisite. And part of the reason why is because of the paint. That is called Lunar Blue Metallic, and it is excellent in the sun. Now, the wheels, which I also love, are AMG wheels. Even though it's not an AMG vehicle, you can get it as part of a package. Now, I know that the looks are subjective, but have a look at the car yourself and tell us what you think. Now, check this out. We're going to go over these railroad tracks in about five seconds. Yep. And you're going to feel something, but not a lot of something. Here we go. Now, that could have been just a little line in the concrete as far as I'm concerned. This is the most compliant ride of any convertible I've ever driven. This interior really makes the car. This is one of the places where I think that I understand Roman. That's right. Roman prefers driving Mercedes. You may notice I don't drive these very often. And part of the reason why is because he loves a classy interior and you can't go wrong here. Now the colors are a little strange. They have a macchiato beige, their words, and an espresso brown. It's Napa leather. And then they have this wood, which is just fantastic. It looks like it came off an old yacht from the 60s or even the 50s. And it's known as Magnolia Flowing Lines. I don't care what they call it. I call it beautiful. Look at the speaker covers. Look at the vent controls. Everything in here, in terms of aesthetics, is Beautiful. Of course you have to take the good with the bad, and the first bad point about this Mercedes-Benz E400 Cabriolet is the infotainment system. The system itself is quite clunky to use, and there's actually three different ways that you can interact with this screen. So first up you have this big rotary dial here, which you can use to select through the menus. But then Mercedes have also included this weird touch screen thingy that you can use to draw letters or also just operate the menus. And then once again, there's a third button over here on the steering wheel that you can use to interact with the menu. You're going to be using this gas filler cap quite often. Uh, the Mercedes is reportedly getting 20 mpg in the city. 25 mpg on the highway and 22 mpg combined according to the EPA. Uh, in our testing over the past week or so we've only been able to manage about 19 mpg. And you would expect a Mercedes Cabriolet to be expensive but ours is very loaded and it comes in at just over $89,000. Now the problem that we have with that is the fact that you can buy a Mercedes SL, the Roadster, starting at $88,000. Why would you pay $1,000 more for something like this when you could get the SL instead? Because this has back seats man. Yeah, but does it really have good back seats? This brings us to the last issue that I have with this Mercedes, and it's the room in the back seat. So for an E-Class, you kind of expect there to be a lot of space back there, but frankly, there's not that much space. Now, I'm six foot two, and I have the driver's seat set up to where I would be driving, and I'm gonna try and get in the back seat just to show you how difficult it can be, especially when you have the roof up like this. Now, that opens very easily. This is actually kind of nice, the way that the seat folds up and then it kind of moves up for you. That's great. Yeah, so that looks like a, a good amount of room, but I'm going to try and hop in here now and it's just, it's not going to be graceful. Huh. Better huh. you than me. Huh. Okay, so I'm in, I'm in now. And you pull that back. All right, okay. Oh yeah. I would not be a happy camper back here for more than a five minute trip to the grocery store. This is a foldable crate. Obviously, it is for the back of the vehicle, so you have items that don't roll around too much. But 
it's also useful. Hence, it is unusual or weird. All right, so there's another weird thing about this Mercedes and it has what they call an air freshener built into the vehicle. Let me show you. There's this little container down here in the glove box that's called Daybreak Mood. I'm not sure what that's exactly supposed to smell like, but what I do know is that you can use this menu here on the dash to turn the air freshener onto whatever setting you want. Let's go for medium. Uh, and it'll start scenting the air inside your Mercedes Benz so it smells like whatever daybreak mood smells like. Another weird feature of the Mercedes E400 Cabriolet is what Mercedes calls an air scarf. It's this little vent in the headrest that blows warm air around your neck when you're driving, upon your request. Now, it's kind of nice in the winter, but on a 67 degree day like today, not the most necessary thing in the world, but we still like it. I think my favorite part about this is definitely the air suspension. Just from a driving perspective, because it is really, you actually feel like you're on a cloud. And it's not that you're missing out on any feedback from the road at all, actually. It's quite communicative in that aspect, but it just soaks up the bumps so well that you really don't feel like you're hitting anything too substantial. I would liken this ride to how it used to feel in my dad's old Lincoln Continental, mm. with the exception of a little bit more road feel. Yeah. It's not a lot of road noise, not a lot of wind noise. This car has successfully muted just about everything you want muted. Well, Mike, I can honestly say this is a car that has very few compromises. It drives beautifully, it looks beautiful. It's a wonderful car. Yeah, and of course there's a few small problems here and there, but I'd agree with you overall, it's a really pleasurable place to be. You know who would dig this car? Roman. Roman, without a doubt. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us for the Fastlane Car. This is Nathan. And Michael saying thanks for watching and be sure to come back to tflcar.com for more news views and real world good, bad, weird reviews just like this one. See you next time, guys. Bye.